Arson down. The time commitment that it takes to be a volunteer is significant. There's over 180 hours worth of training that needs to be done before a volunteer firefighter can be a volunteer firefighter. Um, and doing that, that training within a period of time where you're balancing work, balancing family, and balancing whatever hobbies you have at home can be extremely difficult. Pennsylvania's first responders offer their time and risk their lives to protect people and property. But they're facing incredible challenges in recruiting and retaining volunteers. In fact, the Commonwealth had nearly 300,000 emergency responders in the 1970s. Today, there are only about 37,000, leaving the possibility of a day when a 911 call goes unanswered. There's a lot of ways to give back to the community, but for me, doing it through the fire department has been very rewarding, um, and, and I thoroughly enjoy it. But I'm getting older, um, you know, we, we need younger people to get interested in it and, and, you know, stick with it. A commission was created to study the problem and recommend solutions. When we finished up our, our SR6 commission work, a lot of the firefighters and, and, and first responders said to me, don't let this port, report be written and then put on a shelf somewhere with no action taken on it. And I made a commitment to them that we were going to get as many of these recommendations passed into law as possible. Over the past two weeks, the House made good on its promise to help our fire and EMS personnel by passing more than a dozen bills. Among the benefits are tax breaks and tuition assistance to recruit and retain members, as well as ways for companies to access more money for equipment and training. We've passed a number of bills um, this week to recruit, retain, and respect our heroes and helpers back home with fire and EMS. And I think some of the facts have to re really come into play here. We've got almost 2,500 volunteer fire companies in Pennsylvania. 90% of our fire companies are volunteers. But since the 1970s, our volunteer numbers have dwindled from 300,000 down to around 37,000. So folks are not volunteering anymore. So we need these volunteers. And the fact of the matter is, if we didn't have these volunteers serving, these services would cost us about 10 billion dollars. And if you think about that, that's two-thirds of the entire property tax bill for schools in Pennsylvania. So that's a lot of money that, you know, would have to be charged to the taxpayers to get these services. And this, this is one of our core functions is public safety. So we're doing everything we can to help recruit, retain, and respect our heroes and helpers back home. And I'm proud to be supporting all these bills. It's completely flattering to be recognized by so many pieces of legislation through the house and knowing that hey people are going to start looking out for us and have a vested interest in making sure that we succeed